Transferring data to or from the Total Eclipse controller is quite easy using a standard USB flash drive. The files and reports being transferred are relatively small in size, so a 2 GB USB flash drive is sufficient. Whether you are reading a setup file into the Total Eclipse controller or writing reports from the Total Eclipse controller, you will need to access the data transfer screen. To access the data transfer screen, you will first need to access the installer menu screen. All TE controller screen navigation and text entries are accomplished using the navigation keys on the front of the controller. There is an up, down, right, left, enter, and return key on the front of the Total Eclipse controller. Again, in order to enter the data transfer screen, we first have to in enter the installer menu. To do this, we'll press the down arrow key and highlight installer menu, enter. The default password is 01234. I'll use the keys to enter my password. and then press enter. Now I'm inside the installer menu, I need to scroll down to data transfer. When I'm at data transfer, I'm ready to install my USB flash drive. To do that, I open the side of the controller flap and simply insert the USB flash drive. Once the USB flash drive is inserted, now I'm ready to transfer data. Press the enter key and I now receive the data transfer menu screen. On this screen I have five different options. I can write reports. I would use this to transfer production data from the TE controller to the USB flash drive. I can read a setup file. I would use this to transfer a setup file from the USB flash drive to the TE controller. I can write a setup file this would be used to transfer a setup file from the TE controller to the USB flash drive. We also have an option for update firmware. This may be used as a way of updating the firmware on the Total Eclipse controller. However, currently it has no field function. Our final option is write activity log. We would use this to transfer the most recent input and output commands received by the Total Eclipse controller to the USB flash drive for diagnostic purposes. Using the up and down arrow keys, now I'll select the option that I want to do. The first thing I want to do is read a setup file. So I highlight read setup, press enter. Now I see the list of all the setup files that are on my USB flash drive. I simply scroll up and down using the up and down keys until I've identified the setup file that I want to load. When I have that highlighted, I press enter. I receive a warning notice to let me know that I'm about to overwrite the current settings. That's fine. I'll press enter again. That quickly we've uploaded the file, the setup file, from the flash drive to the Total Eclipse controller. In order to write reports from the controller to the flash drive, I would scroll up to the Write Reports menu, press enter, it's going to prompt me for a date range that I want my report data from. In this particular instance, we'll use December 1st of last year, 2010, to today, which is March the 7th, 2011. It's going to prompt me for a name for the report. I like to keep my report names very simple. So in this particular instance, I will simply use the example of Washer2. And then I will use today's date once I have the report name entered I simply press the enter key you'll notice the yellow LED is now flashing that indicates that data is being transmitted from the controller to the USB flash drive when all of the data transfer is complete we will come back to the data transfer screen as you can see here in order to exit out of the data transfer menu loop, we simply press the return key or formula select key 
until we come to the default screen setting. Reports are generated in HTML format, which can be opened using Internet Explorer. You may also open the reports in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet by saving the original HTML file to your computer and then right-clicking on the file icon, which should open a drop-down box that will offer Excel as an option for opening the report file, assuming you have Microsoft Excel installed on your computer.